Hey guys, CJ here, and welcome to Weekly Reviews, where today we'll be reviewing... Can I get a drum roll, please? Who's my drum roll, drum roll guy? Oh yeah, that's why he died in a deadly car accident. Psych! You got psyched by the master! Yeah. So, today we'll be, we will be reviewing... Oh, I wish I had a drum roll. A drum roll guy. So it would be so much better. Oh, sorry for the uh, wait. District 9. Um, this movie was freaking mind-blowing. Mind-blowing. I loved it. One of my favorite movies of all freaking time. Now, I'm really surprised I like this because um, after I saw Elysium, I hated Oh, spoiler. I'll have to not say that. Well, I hated Elysium. I'll have to do a review of it this week. Uh... And it's also a film by Neil Blomkamp. I'm really surprised I like it. I mean, it was a way bigger body count than Elysium and way more body explosions. But it was still an amazing story and great acting, especially by, Sh by Charlotte Copley. Sorry, Charlotte, if I'm not pronouncing your name correctly. Um, so, before we get to the reviewing, in case you don't know what District 9 is about, like for the people who don't understand futuristic movies. Um, well, in 1982, this mothership landed in Johannesburg. It just stayed in the air and didn't move. Now, in the present day, a man named, oh my god, I forget his name, Marcus, like, like Wilkis or something, or Warkis or something, weird name, uh, works for this organ alien organization called MNU, where they take care of the aliens that live in this area, like that square called District 9, where all the aliens live, that they found underground. But also living there are some Africans that have prostitution rings and um, weaponry sales. And it turns out that Wilkis, or whatever his name is, has to give the aliens eviction notices because they live in little shacks in District 9. But then Wilkis gets infected and it turns out his uh, fingernails start coming off and he starts like puking black stuff and like his nose is bleeding with black stuff. And then he goes to the doctor, so the doctor has to cut his arm open. It turns out he has an alien claw growing, so he's kind of turning into an alien. Then they start testing him, doing tests on him to kill aliens and stuff, and they do it with his alien claw. They actually make him shoot a, an alien with a, like, crazy gun. Oh, yeah, and the aliens in the movie are called prawns, and the alien act body actually explodes. It was a really crazy movie, and then um, what happens next? Then... The, he escapes the um, hospital when they're trying to cut into him to get his heart out. And now they're on the run for him. He actually goes into District 9 and finds this alien guy with an alien boy. And it turns out they have an underground ship under their shack, which no one knew about. And they want to get back to their home. But the only way they can do it is to get to the mothership. Oh, and if you're the only one, that's just my mom. Is to get to the mothership because the mothership is going to take them to their home. Now, the alien father, Christopher, who acts, tells Wilkis that he can fix him, but he needs the fuel for the ship so that it can take them up. And when they were giving eviction notices, Wilkis took the fluid to the MNU testing labs to see what it actually was. Now, in this journey, um, um, Locus has to get to, to the f fluid so that Christopher and his son can get to the mothership to get to the planet so that uh, Locus can get his arm, can get his body fixed back to human. Now, I'm not going to give any spoiler alerts, um, just in case you haven't seen it yet, but this was an amazing movie. I liked the, I really liked the beginning, 
the beginning was a little bit slow because, well, not not because um it was a little bit slow, but that was fine. It was gr- great movie at the beginning. They actually made it like they were filming a program for for like District Nine, like seeing how the workers worked and stuff. It was an amazing, really stunning, visually stunning movie. I couldn't even tell if the aliens were in, dressed up in a costume or if they were CGI because they did not look CGI. But it was amazing how they made it look real. Like at the end, they said like District Ten is now the place for anim- for aliens, and like how they made it seem like it was real and what happened, like what happened with the aftermath. Charlotte Copley was and was. Stunning. I thought he was way better than in Elysium because he was also in Elysium. He was such a good actor. How he played like a bad guy at the beginning, but then he became good and tried to help the aliens. And how he was like kind of like a rough and tough badass at the end. And then like, so yeah, it was an amazing movie. I really think you should see it. Today we're going to give District 9 8 out of 10 stars. Amazing, amazing movie. Visually stunning. You have to see this. I thank Neil Blomkamp and Peter Jackson for this movie. Amazing. Uh, Neil Blomkamp is actually thinking of making a, a sequel to District 9, which you probably already know it's going to be called District 10. Yeah. So, uh, thanks for watching. Um... Next week, we're going to have a lot of reviews. Almost every day I'm going away, I saw a lot of new movies like Catfish, Man with the Iron Fist. Boring. Um, what else do I see? Sin City. We have a lot of movies to do reviews on. But today, but today, I really think you should see District 9. Rent it. Buy it. Awesome movie. I'm going to have it on DVD in a while. So I guess thanks for watching, leave a comment, and subscribe for more.